you're watching another Nerd Stalker interview. You also announced in the last in the newsletter this new streaming service for restaurants. So we, we I think we talked a little bit about that the last one, or at least we we talked either offline or on, during the interview. Yeah. But you know, what's this streaming service for restaurants all about? Did you ever hear about a company called uh, Spotify? <laughs> yeah, one, once or twice <laughs> we talk about it. <laughs> okay, okay. They're, they're, I, I, to be honest, they're, they're, they're one of my favorites in the uh, the business to consumer market. So, so you know, I, I love their service. I use them all the time. Um, uh, I have tried a few others, but but Spotify for me as a consumer is is my my number one favorite. Um, but and now, now this is the boring part. Getting back to licensing again, uh, they for many countries around the world uh, uh, haven't uh, got a license to broadcast to businesses. So you can use uh, Spotify or Deezer or Pandora or all the other services to uh, as a consumer. You know, in your, in your in your home setting with your family and your friends, no problem. But the moment when you own a restaurant or I don't know, small hotel, or um, you work for a franchise, you're, you know, your um, uh, well, uh, McDonald's or whatever. You can't just turn on Spotify in, in, in your business. They they won't allow you. The, the license is not a commercial license, um, and and that's where we see an opportunity mm. because first of all, the music from the twenty-seven thousand artists that we represent today. You can make beautiful playlists with that kind of music that's very suitable for any restaurant or uh, you know a mcdonald's or a, a subway or whatever you know you can make beautiful uh, uh mood kind of uh, music shows second of all we have you know everything is cleared so we can use it commercially and because we direct license from the uh, from the musicians the the end user so the the business client they no longer have to pay the uh, normal royalties that they normally pay to the uh, performing rights organizations because it's a subscription model that we have with the end user and the money they pay we you know we share with with the musicians directly so you know cutting out the middleman and um, we have tested this model like a couple of years ago uh, with with one of our business partners and then of course you know we <laughs> All the rights organizations, of course, like, you know, knock on your door and say, like, you can't do that. And we're like, okay, just explain what we should change so that we can do it. Um, so that, that was changed. And then, uh, and of course, we, we could. Um, but now we uh, signed and built a Spotify for businesses, if I can call it that way, for the largest uh, trade association in the Netherlands. And that's the trade association for restaurants in the hospitality sector. Um, so they're serving their customers a white labeled music service and tell them that if they, you know, and they will have a, even get a discount because they are already members of that trade association and uh, they can just sign up online, pay a subscription fee and start playing music in the restaurant or uh, yeah, whatever they have. And that makes totally sense. So. Um, uh, Musicians are happy because their music is being played. It's also, you know, fair play for play, uh, pay for play. So it means that, that you know, we pay out when they uh, contribute to one of these playlists that are actually playing at the bakery around the corner and, and the subway and the McDonald's and all the other places. And um, and I think it's ready to scale. I mean, this is like a, a fun model that, that it, it might work in the States, it might work in Germany or in the UK. We just have to uh, figure this out together with the collecting societies and see if we can, you know, in a, in a it's, yeah, it, it is bypassing, but not in a negative way because it's more like a direct licensing model. So, uh, wow. Yeah. Wow. That, that, no, that, that makes a lot of sense because to be honest with you, um, a lot of the music I play, oh, it's background music in a restaurant or in a business yeah. or whatever, right? I mean, <laughs> I I don't say, I don't stop my conversation at a restaurant and say, Oh, let's let's listen to Kanye West right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I, I don't do that. I mean, we well, don't. I, there know. will be there will be many many places where where you do, of course. Like you, you go into uh, uh, like 
you know your favorite bar and you expect like uh, because it's your favorite bar you expect some some modern music that you normally hear on national radio for example um but but yeah as you're saying like there's so many places where you just want to hang out and, and i mean you don't want like background yeah. noises you want background yeah. music I mean, even in my in my office, you know, I'll play it over my my desktop because we yeah. can't play it, you know, in, 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 as a business, as you said. But there's a lot of times I would love to have this 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 low level um, mood music just to kind of relax people and just kind of like you know have people kind of be happy in the office, whatever, you know. So, yeah. you know, that's totally that totally makes some sense. Wow. Okay. So. Um, is, is this service launched right now and uh, ready to go? Yeah, it's, it, well, we, we, this is so funny, Greg. We we launched in uh, mid uh, mid December. Okay. Um, and we thought like, okay, this is like you know everybody's uh, it's all for Christmas and and you know nobody's going to buy a subscribe. So we were surprised with you know within hours we had the first customers and we were like, okay, you know somebody's awake. And then in the first week of uh, January, we had a big trade show here in Holland uh, for hospitality. So I actually, you know, uh, dived in and uh, uh, were um, uh, representing this this music service that is called KHN Music um, uh, at the booth for four days, talking to you know restaurant owners, uh, franchisees, all the other people. And I love it because you you get like real proper feedback but like the most direct things that you and I uh, you know think you take for granted like uh, how do you connect an iPad to uh, uh, to an amplifier in your place like you know what, what kind of wire or, or thing do you need uh, does it play on uh, we talked last time about Sonos how do you get it working on Sonos uh, all the but, you know very direct operational kind of questions was like this is so fun so uh, like last week uh, I installed it at one of the uh, most famous uh, restaurants in Amsterdam which is part of uh, the Hermitage Museum oh, wow. which is also like a very famous museum in Amsterdam and at this beautiful restaurant and uh, the owner uh, you know called, called the company and said like uh, I can't get it started how does it work and, and, and uh, you know was like you know, I will, I will clear my appointments. I will come over to you. I'm also based in Amsterdam. This is fun. So I just, you know, took my bike, went over there, and uh, uh, a proxy so, or uh, like a, a firewall was blocking his access. So, uh, you know, I, I told one of the guys to open uh, open the, the firewall for, for the service. And we got it up and running in five minutes. And you see the whole, the whole place filled with beautiful music. And that, that makes you proud because it's, you know, it's music from... Those tribe members that, that some people think like, yeah, but it's, they're unsigned awesome. artists, they can't be good, you know, they never hear them on national radio, so why don't you have that music being played? And now it's playing in one of those places, so uh, yeah, That's it's wonderful. It. Wow, the CEO gets on his bike, goes down and helps a local person. <laughs> <laughs> never heard hey, of. <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's, if you if you're based in Holland, first of all, you know, if if, if you have to go around in, in a city like Amsterdam. You definitely take a bike uh, or public transport, but no car. Um, and 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 I do love the hands-on approach because that feedback for me, also to be uh, at the booth at that uh, uh, event, you know, they give very valuable information. That's also why I said to you earlier in this interview, like I would love to connect with media makers on an individual base, and, and if they can tell me what should be changed on Tribal Noise Pro before they start using it, you know, bring on uh, anything that you can because that, that's so valuable uh, to, to us as a team.